Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is April 6th, which marks about one month until the AP Biology exam. And as a proud survivor of getting a five on the AP Biology exam within one month of intense studying, let me provide you with some tips and tricks to maximize your studying efficiency. Okay, so the first thing is, I would say with the time crunch, you want to prioritize the topics with the heaviest weighting on the exam. And thankfully, College Board does provide you with that information. So I've organized how within the first week, you want to start studying units three, six, and seven, because these three units have the heaviest weighting on the exam. So you would see a lot of questions on the exam about like, enzymes, respiration and photosynthesis, gene expression, and evolution. So you want to have a firm grasp on those ideas. And if you don't understand within the first week, that's totally fine. You could continue studying throughout the month. So you want to prioritize those three units. And then by the second week, you want to start studying units two, four, and eight. So two, four, and eight have relatively less weighting on the exam, but still a lot. So you would still see fairly large amounts of questions about cell structure, signaling, feedback loops, and ecology. So you want to get started on those two, but always prioritize the first three units I talked about because those have the heaviest weighting. And then by week three, you would only have two units left to study. And these two units have the least weighting on the exam. You want to know them, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. You can just skip over those questions. Of course, it's better to know everything, but you know, with the time crunch, sometimes you just gotta prioritize some things over the other. But um, for units one and two, it's about like macromolecules, water properties, and genetics. So. If you don't get to those topics and you gotta prioritize the first six units I talked about, that is totally fine. Of course, you want to know everything, um, and but with the time crunch, it's totally understandable. Next, by week four, you want to do a full review. So by full review, I mean like mix all the vocabulary, all the quizlets together and quiz yourself because you don't want to only quiz yourself on one particular unit because then you kind of catch up on a theme and then you answer according to the theme. You want to mix everything just like it would be on the exam day. And on top of that, you also want to get a lot of multiple choice questions and FRQs in so that you know and get familiarized with the exam format. And on top of that, I would say that every day you want to aim for at least one FRQ. And I know life gets in the way, everybody is busy, um, but having one FRQ each day and just practicing every single day really helps with just familiarizing yourself with not only the exam format, but also just the um, exam content. Because if you can do an FRQ correctly, you most definitely can do multiple choice questions correctly because the multiple choice qu questions aren't like super, super difficult compared to the FRQs. I would say FRQs are a lot more difficult than the multiple choice questions. Some other study tips, particularly for multiple choice questions, is that when you're studying for the multiple choice questions, there are a lot of vocabularies. And for the vocabulary, you want to use active recalling. So instead of just rereading over your notes, you should like use Quizlet, use Enki to just recall what you studied. So look at the definition and recall like, hmm, what vocabulary works with this definition? I think that definitely makes your studying a lot more efficient compared to just rereading notes because that's so passive. And on top of that, I think for the FRQs, you want to prioritize practicing instead of pretty notes. I know biology is like, there are so many opportunities for pretty notes, but with the time crunch, prioritize practice instead of just writing down notes and copying down notes. 
And on top of that, for FRQs, one thing I found super, super helpful is um, relabeling or redrawing diagrams. So with like cell structures, cell processes, and biological systems, I really found it helpful to just have a blank diagram and then label down each step of the process or each component of say the cell structure. And that really helps with when you when you come across an FRQ with a diagram and then they wouldn't tell you like whatever label there is and you just gotta figure it out yourself. Um, it's really helpful that way. So definitely like redraw diagrams, relabel diagrams and all that good stuff. That's really helpful. That was super helpful for me. One last thing is if you do have time, you can also make cheat sheets. So these cheat sheets would be like for each unit, you could just write down the most important concepts or the most important vocabulary that you know you need to know. Um, and those would be really helpful when it's like three days leading up to the exam and you're like thinking about, hmm, like what other topics should I focus on? That way you could look at the cheat sheets and you could be like, hmm, like maybe this concept, I don't have a super good grasp on it and I could review it. And so, yeah, that's basically it. But one last, last, last thing is I have a one month study guide. Um, and so if you do want access to that, just comment down below and I would send it to you immediately. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you, and see you next time.